Police anticipated more than 100 events in parts of London, Bristol, Oxford, and Birmingham. Peaceful crowds of anti-racism protesters gathered in such large numbers that they either vastly outnumbered anti-immigrant agitators. In addition, thousands of officers were already deployed and about 1,300 specialist forces were on standby in case of serious trouble in London. Cities and towns have been wracked by riots and looting for the past week as angry mobs, encouraged by far-right extremists, clash with police and counter-demonstrators. The disturbances began after misinformation spread about the stabbing rampage that had killed three girls in the seaside community of Southport, North Liverpool, with social media users falsely identifying the suspect as an immigrant and a Muslim. Rioters spouting anti-immigrant slogans have attacked mosques, hotels, housing, asylum seekers, creating fear in Muslim and immigrant communities. In recent days, reports have emerged of violent counterattacks in some areas. By early evening Wednesday, trouble had not erupted. Now, police have made more than 400 arrests that are now considering using counterterrorism laws to prosecute some rioters. The government has pledged to prosecute those responsible for the disorder, including those who use social media to incite the violence. Yes, where is exactly the unrest are happening right now in the UK? Well, more than a dozen towns and cities...